I have over 11,000 calories of pizza and moon pies to celebrate Mardi Gras. We have deep dish pizza, thin crust pizza, chocolate moon pies, banana moon pies, pumpkin spice moon pies. Uno Chicago Grill came out with a limited time menu to celebrate Mardi Gras, so you know I had to jump all over it. And it's at this point that I let you know the total stats for all this Mardi Gras deliciousness. I'm gonna put that right there for you guys. To drink, we got water and almond milk. I'm gonna give myself an hour to do this. With that being said, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Mardi Gras Celebration Challenge. I'm hungry, I'm happy. Let's eat. Timer started, put it there, and you know we gotta start with the deep dish pizza. Uno's calls this the jambalaya deep dish pizza. Buttery deep dish dough filled with bayou seasoned shrimp, chicken, andouille sausage, seasoned plum tomatoes, caramelized onions, and celery, then topped with freshly grated mozzarella, cheddar, and Asiago cheeses, and baked to perfection. I believe jambalaya is traditionally eaten on Mardi Gras. Seemed fitting enough, jambalaya on a pizza. Thank you, Mom, for the pizza cutter. Doesn't that look delicious? Here we go, I'm excited. Wow, that is so good. Whew. Hey, welcome back to another video, folks, and welcome to this Mardi Gras celebration challenge. It has been far too long since I've had Uno's Pizza. It's my favorite place to eat. I had to go back and check. Nine months since I've had their pizza back in June. And I had almost forgotten, almost, not completely, but almost forgotten how delicious their pizza is. My favorite from them is still the Prima Pepperoni. Oh, I love that one. I would get it every single time we went to Uno's when I was a kid. But this one, the Jambalaya, would give it a run for its money, absolutely. And in my opinion, I think they should make it a permanent addition to the menu. It is so delicious. I got the large size deep dish pizza, 12 inches in diameter. Now that may not seem like that big of a pizza. Oh, 12 inches, but 12 inch deep dish. So it's really, really thick and it is heavy. Let me tell you. Ah, uh, two thumbs up, two thumbs up, up, up. That is so good. Oh, Uno's, it has been too long. Everything blended together is just a beautiful flavor. It's hard to explain exactly what it tastes like. Wow, so good. This is what jambalaya tastes like. I definitely gotta get me some of that, but I am going to really enjoy the rest of this. Let's continue. There's no sauce on this pizza either, I'm fairly certain, which I didn't realize at first when I started eating it. No tomato, Alfredo, pesto sauce, none of that. That was clearly the right choice though because the flavor did not hold back, it was spectacular. By the way, all those sauces I think have a place on pizza. Pesto sauce might be one of my favorites, but comment below what your favorite type of pizza sauce is. I brought my pizza stone out to the table for this challenge, as you can see. It kept it nice and hot as I was eating it, and that was delightful, because I personally am not really a fan of cold pizza. All right, the jambalaya pizza is down. Wow. Now I know John Stewart's not a fan of deep dish pizza. So let me explain something. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza. <laughs> It's not pizza. And I'm not one that gets into debates about it. Call it whatever you like. I love it, it's delicious, and it's my favorite food. 
All right, time for the second Uno's pizza. This one is a thin crust. And Dooley Sausage Bio Thin Crust Pizza. House-made dough and marinara sauce are topped with Andouille Sausage, caramelized onions, mozzarella, ricotta, and banana peppers. I do love ricotta cheese on pizza. Ooh, that, okay. Kitchen shears. The shears cut through it like butter. Mwah. Thank you, Mom. All right, andouille sausage, thin crust pizza. Oh, that is another two thumbs up, my friends. Wow, that is absolutely delicious. A lot of the toppings are similar, but the flavor is distinct enough that it tastes like a different pizza, specifically the ricotta cheese and marinara sauce. Look at the amount of ricotta cheese they put on that one. Wow. Ricotta cheese on pizza is awesome. It's soft. It's creamy, I love it. The first time I had it, I think was at Sal's Pizza. Shout out to them, they know their way around a good pie. I rarely get thin crust pizza when I go to Uno's because Uno's is known for their deep dish, so that's what I'm looking for and that's what I want. But this pizza was limited time as well, so I figured, why not? Let's find out how their thin crust pizza stacks up. Turns out, it stacks up quite well. Ooh, this pizza is heavy, let me tell you. 21 minutes, that's actually very slow. Kind of surprised, but two slices left, and then the moon pies. Okay, pizzas are done. Amazing pizzas, but I am pizzaed out right now. My waist can is a little bit too far away. I'm just gonna go get it real quick. I wonder if I was off screen for that, I couldn't tell. Next, we got the moon pies for dessert. Three different kinds, chocolate, banana, and pumpkin spice. What is a moon pie? What is a moon pie? Two round graham cracker cookies with marshmallow filling in the center, dipped in a flavored coating. All right, let's do the double-decker chocolate first. All right, like I mentioned earlier, I've never had these before, so we are going to find out together right now my thoughts about them. Double Decker Chocolate Moon Pie. Here we go. They're gooey and hard to eat, but that's pretty good. I'm gonna hold up on my rating for now until I have a few more. These moon pies were thick gooey, dry, and hard to eat. I started clutching my cup of almond milk because I knew I was gonna need a lot of it to get these down. Ah. 31 minutes, I give these one thumbs up. Best way I can describe it if you've never had them before, imagine a Pop-Tart, but the pastry shell is softer, just as dry, but a little softer, with filling that's like marshmallow fluff. Yeah, I'm a fan. Hard to eat fast though. I wonder if these taste any different if you dip them in milk. Let's find out.
definitely softens them up, but it tastes weird. No, I don't, don't do that. Ah, 34 and a half minutes. Whew, I'm, uh, stomach's a little tight today. Okay, two left, or two packages left. Luckily, these are minis, so they're smaller. These are the banana moon pies. Baked in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, that individual wrapping. Whew. I did not properly prepare for this challenge. I was a bit lazy that weekend. And at this point, I was starting to get pretty full, so I knew the rest of the challenge would be very difficult. Well, they, <clears throat> well, they perfectly encapsulated the banana flavor in these. I am impressed. I give it a thumb. One thumbs up. Wow, I am getting very full though. Oh, I'm surprised. I didn't think it'd be a walk in the park, but I didn't think I was gonna have a struggle like this. Oh my man. All right, five more of the banana. Oh. oh man. Ah. All right, banana ones are down. Around 40 minutes. Oh man. These three I already opened for the B-roll. I'm gonna try to do these three and then we'll go from there. There's nine more in the box. Oh wow. Uh. This challenge ended up being more volume than I expected. Next week I'll prepare properly though. Don't worry. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Ugh. Oh, I'm so full right now. All right, guys, I am done. Oh. 45 minutes and 40 seconds. Oh my goodness, I am so full right now. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next Wednesday, peace. So you know I had to jump right over it. Jump right over it? Whoa.